So somewhere in your apartment, you should have an Ethernet port. Uh, and that Ethernet port should be colored, as you can see. The one I'm looking at is red, but they could be blue or yellow. Um, and what you're going to need is you're going to need an Ethernet cord. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you plug your Ethernet cord in. Make sure it's good, solid, snug, and tight. And then you can plug the other end into either your laptop or your router. So here's how you hook up a router to our service. Uh, you have your one end plugged into your Ethernet port in the wall. Uh, then you have a wireless router. Um, and you plug that in so you have that plugged into power. Uh, on your wireless router, typically you have a couple of ports on the back. One will typically be a different color, it may be marked internet or something like that. And that's where you're going to plug in the port that comes out of the wall jack. So you're going to plug that right into your wireless router. Um, so that is now your wireless router is going to be hooked up to the wall jack. And then you need to configure your wireless router. Uh, but if you plug in, and typically you need to do that by plugging that into your computer, um, and if you plug in uh, one of these other ports, these are typically switch ports, which you can plug an Ethernet cord into, you can then plug that into your computer, and once you do that, uh, you're hardwired through your router, and your router is plugged into the wall jack, which connects to our service, and uh, our internet should work at that point. Uh, what it's going to do is bring you up to a sign-in screen. And on that sign-in screen, you'll be asked for your username and password. So you should have been provided a username and password. Um, so I'll sign in with mine. And when I sign with my username and password, it'll then take me say, congratulations, uh, you're now authenticated. So what that's done is that's authenticated your router on the Get Wireless network. At this point, it says you need to reboot your computer, your modem, uh, and your router before you'll be able to access the internet. Obviously, if you have an ethernet port, you don't have a modem. So all we need to do here is potentially reboot our computer and our router. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot the router and how we do that, we take the power cord out, count to five or so, plug it back in. It'll then be a few minutes until the router starts back up. So we'll let that reboot for a minute or so. Okay, once your router's rebooted, we'll try and go to a web page. And there you go, you can see that we're uh, easily surfing the web at this point, nice and quick. Um, so at that point, we know that uh, our computer is connected to our router, our router is connected and authenticated on the network, and we can access the web. The next step in the next video will be how to do the basics of setting up wireless or Wi-Fi on your wireless router.